Hey there, and welcome back. If you are like me, you've been using devices like a tape measure to measure your toe and some of these caster camber gauges in order to do the alignment on your old car. Today, I will show you a new product that is so good, you will never wanna pull any of these things out again. This technology is called Gyroline. This is just a plastic 3D housing, and it's meant to hold your phone in it. And then you download some special software that will let you set the toe, the caster, the camber, even measure the Ackerman angle. So let's take a look at how it works. If you order one of these, what you actually get in the mail is just this plastic housing that is meant to hold your phone and it gives you some nice notches to put into the wheels to do your measuring. And then you'll have to purchase a code to get the software and the software is where all the magic happens. This alignment tool is for all intents and purposes just as accurate as if you went and got your alignment done professionally. This is well within factory specs. You can go to Gyroline's website and see the studies that they've done, and that was using an iPhone 13. What I'm using today is an iPhone 15, so this may be even more accurate. You can see down here in the corner that for toe, you can even specify that you want the toe precision to be within 0.05 degrees. That is just way more than you need for, especially any vintage car. And then they are going to have new features coming out so that you can get even more precision made for professionals. Let's get this mounted into the Gyroline case and see how it works. First off, to take your measurements, you do need to have your car on a relatively flat surface. And here on my dyno lift, this is a very flat surface. Let's start out by measuring toe. So I'm going to take this and set it onto my wheel like that. And then I need to rotate it, align it, get that green dot right in the center. Then once I have everything aligned, I'm going to mark what tire that is. Now I need to go to the other side. This time I'm going to be using the other side of the case. You can see on the right hand side, it says front of car. So I get that to where I need it to be. And then I can hit what tire it is. Right now it's guessing that I have a quarter inch of toe out. Let's go back to the other side to verify. And when you're doing toe, you do need to do the first side you did twice. Now that I have measured this side, it has increased the accuracy and it's saying that I have 0.2 inches of toe out on this car. This car does a lot of autocrossing, so I think that's a good place to have it. If we wanted to, we could even measure the toe of the rear of the car but on this car, it has a solid rear axle, so there are no adjustments back there. Now let's try out camber mode. In this mode, we want to choose the tire first. We rotate the phone. We come down here, and you need to hold the phone against your wheel, and I need to level that bar, and then click Save. So it's saying on the front left, I have a negative 1.2 degrees of camber. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to get this level and then click save. So it's saying on the front right, I have 0.8 degrees of negative camber. I decided to take the measurement again on the other side of the wheel. It's measuring the same thing. Again, on this car, solid rear axle, so there are no camber adjustments for the rear of this car. Let's move on to caster. Doing caster is a lot more complicated. We first need to select what side we are going to do. So we are going to do the left caster. Then I need to set my toe. By lining the lines up, set my toe. Now I need to switch over to doing camber. Now I need to steer the car to the left. I need to take my toe measurement again. And my camber measurement. Now I need to turn it all the way to the right. I need to take the measurements again. And the results say that I have 4.3 degrees of caster. Now lastly, let's measure our Ackerman angle. 
And if you don't know what that is, when you're steering around a corner, the wheel on your left side does not steer the same amount on the right side. And this changes based on which direction you're turning. And if you know anything about Sunbeam Tigers, the Ackerman angle is terrible on these things. And this car has actually been slightly modified to try to get rid of some of the terrible Ackerman. So let's measure it and see what it is now. So I'll click Start Ackerman. Now it says front left wheel with steering straight. So we'll get that lined up. Now that I've done that, it says front left wheel with wheels turned right. So I'll put this down and turn the wheel all the way to the right. Again, I need to line up the line. Now it says front right wheel with wheel still turned right. So I'll get the angle on the front right wheel. And it says that the Ackerman angle on this Tiger is 1.69 degrees for every 10 degrees of steering angle. And you can see the difference displayed here on the phone. With my wheels turned all the way to the right, my front right wheel is turned 22 degrees whereas my front left wheel is actually turned 26 degrees. And those should flip from side to side if I were to turn all the way to the left. I think this is a great little tool. I did buy this tool. This is not a sponsored video. I just thought that I would show this to everyone. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.